Hey everyone, welcome to Nicole's Needlework. My name is Nicole and this is a podcast about stitching and knitting. Today is July 3rd and um, I'm not sure what time it is on my watch. I think it's around 2.30. Um, they let me off work early today so I thought I'd do a quick podcast. Um, we got home from Florida about a week and a half ago. It took me about a week to recover. It, we had so much fun. We went down to Key West, my husband and I spent a few days there on our own, did all the touristy things and just relaxed, had fun. It was it was really good to get away. And then we came back and stayed on St. Pete Beach and um, my brother got married. He is my second oldest brother. He is about seven years older than me. And he got married on the beach and it was beautiful and so nice. Um, couldn't ask for more perfect weather. It was a little hot, but we had a breeze and it was just so nice. Um, and then we were just busy um, spending time with family the rest of the time. So um, I didn't really get to see some of the people I wanted to see when I was down there, but uh, hopefully um, at Thanksgiving or Christmas, I'll be able to see my other friends. Um, so I have been uh, stitching a lot lately. Knitting has kind of been put on the back burner and um, I've been getting a lot of stitching done. I will show my knitting first, what I have worked on. Um, this is my Sunset Highway sweater by Boyland Knitworks. And I'm basically just working on the body. It's just lots and lots of gray stockinette, just round and round and round. So I got all the color work done. And so that's, that's where I'm at with that. And let's see, the yarn I used this is Madeline Tosh Twist Light uh, in the Leopard colorway. And I used that same color on my Zweig sweater. And then this pink is kind of a speckled pink. Love this. I got this in Charlotte. Don't know. Yes by Yarn Experiments and the color is Meet Me in Charlotte. Oh, that's not showing the... It's Monkey Sock Base. 75% Merino, 25% Nylon. It's Meet Me in Charlotte. It's the colorway. So I got this at Charlotte Yarn. It's so pretty. So I like how it turned out in there. And then for the white I'm using birch gray, which just has a tiny little bit of speckle in there. I thought it would be a little more speckled, and this is Battle and Tosh Twist Light also. And I got kind of a mess here. The gray I'm using is Great, I think it's Great Gray Owl by Battle and Tosh Twist Light. So the only one that's not Battle and Tosh is this one. That's yarn experiments. So I will get back to it. Um, it's very, very mindless. So it's good for when I'm watching TV, when I don't need to concentrate, when I don't even need to look. And I've dropped a stitch. Um, so I will get back to this. Sorry, I just gotta pick up this stitch or else I will be going to keep going down and down. I think I just dropped one. So and these are, these needles are my, uh, yeah, these are my Nova Platina Interchangeables by Knitter's Pride. And love these needles. They're so fast. Look at that. So much fun. And um, I actually found a couple knitting groups 
here in the Charleston area. And they were actually having a meeting tonight, but since I got off work early, I was gonna leave from work and head down there, but since I got off work early, I think I'm gonna go next week because they have them every week. Um, so if you're in the Charleston area and are looking for a knitting group, it's called Charleston Stitch and Bitch. And they meet downtown at a place called Workshop, which is like a food court kind of thing. It's 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 more like a modern food court with, um, I don't know if it's food trucks or if it's that sort of idea. So see how mindless this is? I can just go and go and go. It's so easy. But I have to do 15 inches from the armpit down. That's probably about five inches maybe. So I got a ways to go. But I will get it done so I can wear it this winter. Um, it's gonna be a good one for winter. So I worked on that. Um, what's funny is I went to, of course I saw my mom when I was down there. And I had given her a bunch of socks and she gave them all back to me because <laughs> she has like a wool allergy or sensitivity. Um, any little bit of wool makes her very itchy. And I've kind of, I don't know, it doesn't bother me one bit. Like, especially this, this is very soft and it's merino wool, um, not scratchy at all. So I don't know, it doesn't bother me. So I took them back. These are just a few pairs I gave her. Um, so she gave those back to me. The other thing I've been working on is, this is called Sunset in Albuquerque. And it's a two color shawl. So I started with the gray, which is Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light. Um, Astrid Gray, I believe. And then I put Hedgehog Fibers Pheasant Sock. And this is, the Astrid Gray is a singles yarn. And this is a regular sock yarn. So I was kind of curious to see how the two different textures would be. But I'm really liking it. I'm, I'm liking how it's looking. So... I just started that kind of on a whim one day. That's the problem with Ravelry. It's so easy just to download a pattern. They have thousands of patterns. You see something you like and you're like, oh, I can do that. So here's the hedgehog. I got this, man, a long time ago in, I think I got it in St. Petersburg, Florida at um, Stash, the yarn shop there, which they have moved. I didn't go to it. Um, I could have, but I decided um, not to buy anything on my trip. So I got, so this is pheasant and, oh, this is the Astrid Gray. And it's just kind of like a lightly, slightly variegated gray, very pretty. And I think I have more of this somewhere because I think I'm gonna need more, but I'm liking how that's coming out. It's different, so. And then, of course, I have my socks, my never-ending <laughs> socks. I feel like I've been working on these for years. Um, I did finish one. have one done and I did these um, top down cuff down with the regular uh, heel flap and gusset because this really fits my foot best I like doing the fish lips kiss heel sock um, it's a lot easier it's quicker but this one just it fits my foot so much better I have very wide feet so something about that and um, I'll show you what it looks like on my sock blocker so there it is 
And this is the Simple Skip or Skype pattern, S-K-Y-P, because that's the stitch you do. Slip, knit, yarn over, or skip. <laughs> Slip, knit, yarn over, pass, pass the yarn over. So that's the stitch you do in here. It's like a little slip stitch pattern right there. And that's a free pattern, so I'm not giving anything away. But, and then I have the other one almost done. So just a couple more inches, I'll be at the toe and then I can start decreasing. So yay. And these, this yarn is the Fido Chosset, I think is what it's called. I don't know. I, I All the details are on my Ravelry page which I'll put a link below to my Ravelry. Ravelry. Um, I'm Nicole's need to work on there. Nicole's need to work basically anywhere. Ravelry, Instagram, Facebook, Flickr. Um, you can find me on the internet. So those are my socks. Determined to get those done soon. So that's all the knitting. I haven't bought anything. I've been really trying to do well on our budget. Bradley starts college August 20th. This is moving day. Uh, his orientation is August 1st, so we're gonna go with him. And uh, we're spending the night. He's spending the night in a dorm. Chris and I are getting a hotel. Um, so, should be interesting. Um, let's see. Stitching, where do I begin? All right, the main thing I've been working on is Martha Pudsey, 1835. So I'm determined to get this one finished up soon. When I'll be able to frame it, I'm not sure, but I, I'll probably start saving up a little bit so I can get it framed. I'd love to get it framed on the wall. So it keeps wanting to curl up here. Well, get the idea. So unfortunately I had to rip this whole section out. I was off, I don't know what I did wrong, but I would have been a lot further if I hadn't had to rip that out. I'm working on the over one words right now. And I'm just doing a tent stitch, which is a half cross stitch. I started out doing full and I, I just, it was just too thick. I wasn't happy with it. So I ripped it out and went to half. So I'm loving that. Um, and then I, I wanted to get these little um, flowers, the outlines of the flowers done. So then when I'm stitching with friends, I can just fill those in and that's easy and mindless. So that's Martha Putsy. Not much more to go. And that's by the Scarlet House. Um, and I'm using Needlepoint Ink Silks. And this linen is 40 count vintage meadow rue. So, and I'm stitching it one over two. Except the words one over one. So that's Martha. Um, let's see. Another thing I worked on a little bit, not much, is Darling Buds of May. Whoops, that's the pattern. Darling Buds of May. <laughs> please don't don't pause that and print it, please just give you an idea to pause and print. Pattern police, don't get me. Okay. Darling Buds of May by Blackbird Designs. It's in this booklet. Shall I compare the to a summer day? Question mark. So. And this is all I have. I worked on the flower that 
little bit more. Worked on that while doing laundry at my mom's house. I escaped to do laundry. This is what moms do when they need a break. And it's all general arts. Sample threads. And I did switch out burlap for chamomile because my burlap was a little more brown. And in the pattern, it looks a little more green. So I thought I would go with the greener. Anyway. So that's that. Um, oh, I also started put that. I don't know where the pattern is. That's gonna drive me crazy now. Sorry about that. So I started Brick House Sampler by With Eye Needle and Thread. teeny teeny when we were driving down to the Keys I just got a teeny little start there this is one over one um, full crosses on 28 count lambs wool Joe Blam so it's kind of because she tea and coffee or I don't know if she just coffee dyed it or tea and coffee dyed it to make it um, more vintage looking. So I was thinking of maybe going ahead and tea and coffee dyeing this. Um, I don't think I'll have to start over. I think it should be fine. If not, I have plenty of fabric that I can do, like start in a different corner. It's, there's a lot of fabric there. So I stopped doing that because I wasn't quite sure. Here's all the culprit threads. Very pretty. The only thing I have bought lately was three threads. <laughs> I've really been trying to be good and just stitch from stash or knit from stash. Um, so let's see. Another thing I decided to get back to is Stacy Nash Summer at Holly Berry Farm. And I had just a tiny bit of this border done. I think I had up to like here and I just did a like that right there. So I haven't done much. But I had started this on 35 count linen. It might even be the linen that's called for 35 count old mill java or something similar and i saw i think it was brenda sampler maker i think it was her i could be wrong and i'm sorry if i'm wrong um that she had stitched it on the 40 count vintage fawn and i loved it so i started over i can't even remember when it must have been a year or so ago and then I put it away, but now I think I'm gonna get back to it because I'm really loving it. So I thought it would be a fun summery piece to work on. And I've got all the called for gentle art threads for that. Pretty colors, so pretty. I love that country redwood right there. It's one of my favorites. So I think that's it as far as stitching. I haven't, Ugh. here's all my whips and kits. So I have this little Lizzie Kate, no, Little House Needleworks. Love. So I'm thinking 
do that for Christmas, the Christmas ornament. Um, I've got another Lizzie Kate, another Christmas one, ABC Christmas that I'm doing on the 28 count tea and coffee dyed Monaco. So when it gets closer to Christmas, because I'm such a seasonal person, I, it's hard for me to like do the Santa Sundays or the other, you know, fall Fridays if I'm not in fall or if I'm not near Christmas. I'm really a more seasonal, so I'm gonna stitch a summer thing in summer, you know. That's just how I am. Um, I've got some other goodies. And Grinshaw, Elizabeth Sheffield. I really want to start this soon. Uh, all the DMC. Oh, and my mom, she's done stitching, so she gave me, she gave me this magazine, whatever linen I had given her. She gave it all back to me. <laughs> she gave it everything back to me. She's done. She had fun. Um, oh, this is my Chessie and me with the wool. Dorothy Walpole, I never did. Oh, I gotta finish that. I haven't shown Dorothy. I don't know. It's been a while. I have up to here. Oh, I'm working on these eyelets. All I have to do is this. I need to get it done. I think the thing that kind of stopped me was the cat snagged the side of the linen. So if I'm gonna have it framed, I'm gonna need to find a framer that will frame right up to the stitching because that little snag is gonna show. So I'll have to look for that. Oh, I didn't know it was gonna go through my whips here. I unkitted so many things, so there's not many. This one is another one I need to finish or I need to get back to. I'm not gonna be able to finish it for a long time. That's Ann Rayner. I love this. Sorry for all the crinkling and wrestling. Ann Rayner. I just have some of the border done. And I'm using all different silk threads. Look at all these threads. And I'm using Paulette's conversion she has on her blog. And some needlepoint ink silks. I substituted what I didn't have. Oh, and Sarah Tatum. I didn't do any more on Sarah Tatum. I just have that little bit done still. I haven't done anything else. So definitely one to get back to. These pretty Soie d'Alger. So pretty. So, yep, I'm getting definitely getting my stitching mojo back. I'm getting very excited about working on new things and finishing up old things. And um, yeah, so. I think that's it. I showed you all my knitting, all my stitching, stitching plans. Um, we don't really have any plans for the 4th of July. We're just gonna hang out at home, maybe cook out. Not a huge fireworks fan. I like to see them from far away. I'm not a big fan of them being right up close. I don't like um, fireworks you buy in the store. They just freak me out. I don't like being near them. Um, so probably not going to do anything. Just sit out maybe in our driveway and see the fireworks going on around us. Um, so it'll be nice to have a day off work. I'm really excited and so grateful that they let me off work early today. I really do work for the best people. So that's it. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a safe and happy 4th and um, great rest of your summer. I'm sure I'll be back in a couple weeks. Um, hopefully I'll have more progress to share and I'll talk to you later. Bye.